Ruto will eventually emerge as a dictator. He is going to stabilize the government. They are going to perform very well. But eventually, there will be a huge uh, Kikuyus will be removed from the government. And there will be a new alignment that the Luos, Luyas, all those other tribes, then Kikuyu will be left. And again, now to come again, it is 42 against one. And uh, will he manage to maybe to clinch to power in the next general election? He will try even to change the constitution. Why? Because he will want to be like that. Raider will be funded. At some point, Raider will be funded and he will push out. And from the Kikuyu land, it's not Kashagwa. Kashagwa can't be president. Look at Dindi Nyoro. Sasa, uh, Apostle, you are very conversant with what is happening in the government right now. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, the same kama maoni yangu maono kama mtumishi wa Mungu from the uh, kama pastor unaweza ongelea from the political perspective and spiritual perspective maono yangu sina maono <laughs> sina maono what is what will happen because of uh, the prayers of many people stability will be found stability will be found um this system mwingine ya majamba si itaisha and uh, Ruto will eventually emerge as a dictator he is going to stabilize the government they are going to perform very well but eventually there will be a huge uh, kikuyus will be removed from the government and there will be a new alignment that the Luos, Luyas, all those other tribes, then Kikuyu will be left. And again, now to come again, it is 42 against one. Yes. And uh, the repercussion of that, effect That is now the prophetic perspective of, you, of what you see. That's a meme. That's, a, that's my prophetic. That at the end of the day, Ruto will stabilize Missouri, but eventually there will be a huge split between the Kalenjins and the Kikuyus. The Kikuyus will be pushed to get to go into the opposition as he will form a new alliance, a Western alliance, at a former Western alliance. Then uh, he will work very hard to make sure that the Kikuyus have been isolated by almost everybody. And uh, will he manage to maybe to clinch to power in the next general election? He will try even to change the constitution. Why? Because he will want to be like Kagame. Like Kigame? Kagame. Kagame. Yes. Uh, like an everlasting president at yes, yes, yes. A president without limits. Yani, atataka no term limits. No term Atataka kuziondoa. Yes. But it won't work for him. And how will he manage to maybe at a try like just like Uhuru tried to remove him? Yeah, he also tried. It's like we are living in a world of trials. Yes. And uh, what are you foreseeing concerning uh, the relationship between the deputy president Gashago and Ruto? It won't be rosy as we are going, as he foments the kina mudavadis, the kina. The Kinakideros and the, those people from the other side, and they takes their course and they make sure that he has taken over. Then now Gashagua will be uh, ready to be removed. So eventually, Gashagua will be kicked out. Gash Raida will be funded. At some point, Raida will be funded and he will push out Gashagua. So eventually, Raida will also be part of the government handshake. Raida has never been out of the government. No single government that the Raida family has ever been out. They have always been in the government with the handshakes. He's as now in the government. Is he making noise? He has got what he wanted. And do you feel maybe one day... <laughs> the the, the Eurobonds days, he, 
Yeah. When he was given what he wanted, the euro bond became good. The transaction was okay. That is Raida for you. Raida is in the politics to make money, not to make power. Not to be he, he builds institution. Raida is a believer of institutions. He built an institution that is Azimio institution. Then he uses as a vehicle to intimidate and extort. Raida is an extortionist. Political extortionist. He will push. You know, like the other day, he collected everybody. He went to Maina Jenga. He went to what? He went to what? They went to Kasarani and they made a lot of noise here. And they, everything. Kamati Metengeneswa. And um, will he ever be the president? He can't. He will never. Why? And he knows that. Why? He is operating under a curse from his father. He will never become a president, but he will always shape. The direction of a country. Why you? What when I'm picking to cut our change to your story? What when I'm picking? People around him, they use him to ascend to power. Yeah. The person who will come closest, a little person that will come closest to power, and they even get power. Babu win. No. He is hated. He is hated by the Oginga family. They don't who, want to see who is that? Yeah? Who is that? I don't know. You don't know. So I'm sure. They have the same characteristics as the J, 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 um, J.F. Kennedy family. Kupatia hint. It's not kupatia. Characteristics zao zote. Ni kama zile zinapatananga na JF Kennedy. Is a luo. Is a luo. A very educated luo. Is he, is he right now maybe close to Raila? Give me 100,000. I'll give you something. I'll tell you who. That's a person who come very close. And he might even be the president. Most likely. And from the Kikuyu land, it's not Kashagwa. Kashagwa can't be president. Look at Dindi Nyoro. Did you know president? Just watch him. That's the right hand man. We on your 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 second in command right now. Moses Kuria. It's a dog that has been tamed. <laughs> Moses Kuria is a dog that has been tamed. He was tamed not to make a lot of noise. I can show you a Man in the mind of this gentleman is Sakaja and the Dinero. How do you do it? Sakaja and Dinero. Yes. Go do your research. Maybe any final remarks? Final remarks? Dio Hizo. Asante, Afosu, Asante. Asante, Zana.